Welcome back to Sawyer Ridge Farm. I'm Jacob. Uh, so we are back on the Woodland Mills sawmill today. Uh, if you kept up with our previous videos, we got this big uh, eastern red cedar log on here. This is the biggest log that we have gotten on this uh, uh, sawmill. So it took like four of us to get this thing on here safely. Uh, but right now we're going to be cutting uh, into this and kind of my, this is what I'm going to be kind of cutting for. As soon as I can kind of get it straight, I'm going to try to get two rough cut uh, slabs, about two inches, maybe a little more, two and a half inches. And I'm going to try to make maybe a tabletop out of those two. Uh, Jason will probably help me with that because he used to do that for a living. And I've never made a table or, you know, furniture like that. And then whatever's kind of left over, I'm really wanting to do like dimensional lumber. Uh, it's probably going to be like a one by however wide this thing becomes once we get the sides off and everything. Uh, we haven't really got into like the dimensional lumber part. We've mainly just been doing slabs. And so I'm really uh, just curious on how everything works and you know how good the boards will be. But uh, let's get into this log.
All right, so we got a little bit of a change of plans. Um, nothing really ever goes to what you want it to be. So I was wanting to do some dimensional lumber and maybe try to get two pieces for a tabletop. Now the thing I'm running to with this, and you never know what you're gonna run into when you start cutting into uh, trees. And so I'll show you, there's kind of two examples here for this log is there's just a little bit of rot in here. And I know that's not like bad, bad, but for a tabletop, I'm really not wanting that because I don't know exactly all the way down how it is, but I'll show you over here kind of some of the, we're just trying to get as wide as possible, but you can see right here. I mean, it's, it's kind of rotten in that spot and it's just kind of really a, a bummer. So we're kind of, I kind of made a decision. I'm really going to try to do just dimensional lumber on this one. I really wanted to get it a tabletop, but I would do, we do have another tree over yonder that is bigger or it, and I think even longer. So we could still do a tabletop and we'll just dedicate that tree over there to be a, a tabletop. But I really want to try to get dimensional lumber right now. You know, we've been doing a lot of slabs and I just really want to try to get that good square. And I think given some of the rot that I'm seeing, I'll probably be able to save more of the wood with the slabs. If there's, you know, some rot in it, I can kind of cut around it and, and use more, just utilize the wood better than if we, you know, we did the tabletops and just wasn't going to be working out and I don't want to, you know, scrap pieces or anything like that. So just going to try to do dimensional lumber here and we'll just see how that goes. Like I said, you just never know what you're going to get into. When you start getting into these trees and you know sometimes you can get into them they could be completely hollowed and you just got to scrap the tree almost but we're going to flip it and we're going to just see how uh, dimensional i can get this
All right, so uh, a lot of y'all been asking about the sawdust and stuff. What we are gonna be doing with it right now is we actually are gonna sprinkle it around our chicken coop because it's a bug repellent, but it's also a snake repellent. From what I've been reading, it's really good for repelling snakes. So chicken coops are notorious for having black snakes and everything like that. And we wanna keep them out of the coop. So we're gonna just sprinkle this every time we get a good amount. We're gonna sprinkle it around the coop area and hopefully that will prevent snakes from coming in. Uh, when Jason's here, he takes some for his uh, composting toilet. And we've been thinking about maybe bagging it up. I know a lot of y'all are saying, you know, you can sell it. And that is definitely an idea of ours. Just uh, right now, uh, we're just going to be doing this, you know, until whenever. But we are using the sawdust. We're not just, you know, letting it throw away or, you know, do what have you. All right, so we got the uh, tree uh, milled up and kind of what we got out with is pretty much all you can see here, all these boards. We got a couple uh, just kind of inch slabs, still kind of the rough cut. That was just from us trying to square it up and it's still good uh, to use. Um, I kind of kept messing up with, we we're trying to go with three quarter inch and because we think that's a good thickness. It's not too thick or not too thin. And because the main, a lot of this we want to use like in our closets and you know, just kind of accent walls and stuff. So we don't need it real thick, but we don't want it to split when we put it up. So we thought three quarter inch, which is what this one is. And it came out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, so a lot of them are three quarter inch. Got a couple that are uh, an inch just because I did my math wrong whenever I was cutting them. And then towards the end, uh, we got these uh, one and a half by one and a half. And this one's more of like a, probably like a two by three or something just we had left over we just tried to use as much as we could here and as you can tell down here with these ones those are the ones that had some rod in them and that's kind of what i was worried about and why we went with more dimensional so then you know we can actually use uh, more of the wood than that because we can just kind of cut that one piece off or i mean you could just stick it up where no one's going to see it because on this side you know it, you can't even see that part so we could potentially use this i just have to see if we want to do that or not but i'm pretty happy with what we got with this dimensional lumber and really wish we could have got a tabletop but it doesn't always go how you want it to as usual but that's pretty much going to be the end of here guys if you're not subscribed to our channel subscribe any comments that's what they're there for leave it for us uh, hit that bell for notifications and take care and god bless